are more than three in some cases. In the, in the traditional retail, it's three parties. You have the customer, you have the seller, and you have the marketplace operator. So in this diagram, you'll see in the upper left, we have the customer, again, through an omni-channel um, uh, manner of selling. In the case of Albertsons, it's pretty much just direct to consumer from seller to the customer. And Magento serves as that customer-facing experience. On the bottom left, you'll see Miracle, which I'll we'll talk about in a second. Miracle is really the vendor-facing and our operator-facing uh, customer experience, or user experience, I should say. So sellers will go in through either a, a GUI, an API, or a vendor aggregation network like a channel advisor to upload their products into the Miracle Marketplace platform, uh, and also get order information, inventory, shipping, status updates, seller ratings, etc. And on the right side of the diagram, you'll see the marketplace operator, Albertsons in this case. So Albertsons does the traditional interface to the managing the store, like Magento for merchandising and store management, and Miracle for the marketplace operations. So managing uh, sellers, their seller ratings, their commission structures, any type of penalties, any rules or logic you have about maximum and minimum image size and descriptions for fields and so forth, harmonizing products across multiple sellers. So Miracle is the uh, engine which can help scale that. Uh, in the past, we used to build marketplaces, let's say for the first uh, decade or so of our 12 years building marketplaces, we custom built them from scratch, but Miracle really helps accelerate and reduce the time and cost of deploying a marketplace. Uh, we're actually sponsoring a uh, summit with uh, Miracle in uh, Boston this uh, July. If you want to learn more, uh, we can have to tell you more about that.